Okay, uh, Mario Maker 2, please stop recommending me these courses now. Lift platforming. Uh, I've done these way too many times now. And, like, look, there's, like, what, five of these now? Like, come on, dude. It's, like, the, f the top five... Uh, the top five courses recommended in my detailed search I usually do. So please stop recommending me these courses. Thank you. Hey, what up guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Maker Online. So this is episode 181. And as you guys can see already by the title, that's right. We are back with the No Color Challenge. So for those who don't remember, um, this was back in September of 2021 pretty much. I basically did uh, the first No Color Challenge, and it was exactly 40 episodes now. So um, I decided, you know what, I might, I might as well just do this today, just because I, I, just in case I don't have, just in case I can't figure out what title uh, to call this episode. So I just said, might as well just, you know, might as well do it like this, right? So, but um, I still have to switch the color to, I, I still have to switch the game to No Color, which you'll see how that works. Well, I'm not, well, you guys aren't going to see it. I'm going to just explain it to you guys. But yeah, we basically did a total of four levels last episode, but turns out, okay, so the last level we did last episode is not even there anymore, so you guys don't even get to see it, because someone deleted it, but whatever. I mean, at least I beat it last episode anyway. But basically, we did this first level, the speed run, um, this icy speed run level, 70 second speed run, basically. It's basically another one of those icy speed run levels, where, um, it was pretty easy a little bit, you know, except there was like one part where I kind of kept dying at a little bit. I think I forget, but um, it was it was some trial and error basically, but I finally beat it afterwards, so it wasn't all too bad then. There, then we did this level molten light platforming, which obviously we had to do platforming with uh, blue platforms there with piranha plants, fireballs, all that stuff. Um, it seemed pretty uh pretty cool challenge, but then there was one part where I kept dying because I I kept jumping too high, and I couldn't like make it over to the other side. I I didn't know how to do it, so I had to like I guess I had to like build momentum just so I can make a big jump. I don't know. Or a long jump, I should say, because trying to make a big jump and makes me end up, you know, hitting my head on the ceiling and then, you know, failing, you know. So that was the part that I just kept dying at nonstop, though. But after, after, afterwards, I finally did it, and I mean, it wasn't too bad overall, though. It was just, it was just that one part in particular that kind of sucked, but it was overall not a bad level. And then we did this level, Monolith Hills Light Kaizo. So it seemed like a short Kaizo level. But it was very, very tedious. There was one part, which is shown in the thumbnail right here, actually. I don't know if you guys could tell right there. At the very far right, there's a Koopa there. A paratroop, I should say. You had to keep bouncing off, um, bouncing on the, um, I think it was the Goombrats or whatever. I forget. No, the, it was the uh, Monty Moles. You had to bounce off the Monty Moles. Then you had to bounce on the paratroop. But you had to jump vertically up, straight up, to the pet, to the pet, um that switch right there. The red switch to turn it off. Where there's a um, bunch of uh, blocks, you know, there's a bunch of blocks, and Freddy's barking now, interrupting my video. But yeah, anyways, basically there was a wall of, of, of blocks that you had to turn off by hitting that um, on and off switch. But the problem was that you had to jump vertically, you had to like jump just vertically up, which messed up my momentum basically after bouncing off the paratroopa. And you had to actually jump right on to a, um, I think it was a floating, a flying uh, Mecha Koopa afterwards which is beyond beyond the wall of blocks that were that were being that I couldn't get past until I hit that switch so basically you had to, you had to like jump on the money moles jump on that paratrooper jump straight up and then somehow get on the uh somehow get on the mecha koopa I don't know how I did it last episode but somehow I was able to do it it was it was pretty it was pretty unfair in, in my honest opinion though all right guys I had to go on I had to go to my last video the last episode of this series just to go and pretty much look at what we did, the last level we did last episode, since the level's not there anymore, the person deleted it. It's called Drench Pipeline Platforming, where there's a bunch of pipes, basically, and a lot of platforms that would fall, and you had to, like, pick up POW blocks and all that and hold on to them at the right moment and all that. It was it was just a lot of trial and error, because it's like, you didn't know what to expect a little bit, and it was like, you know, it, was, it was a really great challenge overall, though. It, was, it wasn't like... It wasn't anything too bad or anything, you know? So, overall, it was a really great, uh... That was a pretty good level, I should say. I don't know if I would say it was the best. Oh, no, it was. Yeah, it was, because I actually did like it. I remember. <laughs> or I just saw it right there on looking at the video. But anyways, now in this episode, we are now going to go and pretty much turn off the color. So, I'll be right back, guys. And voila, guys. Look at that. No color. I basically went to the grayscale. Um, well, I went to, like, the, um, the settings on the Switch... Just hit the grayscale option. Um, if you guys want to know where that is, just go check out the first no color challenge, basically. 
But yeah, anyways, I'm I'm just I'm pretty much gonna be doing it like this. Um, I was actually thinking of doing the endless challenge. Why not? Because of course you guys can see already. I go to the detailed search, and it's just obviously just lift platforming levels. So um, I'm not. I really don't want to do these anymore. So I'm just gonna just stay away from them. Honestly, I just don't feel like doing them anymore. To be honest. So we're just gonna go to the endless challenge. And after what happened last time, I did the endless challenge. We're gonna stay away from expert mode still. So yeah, we're just gonna go to normal here, and just do this here. So. You can just basically just go to normal. I think I feel like this is the first time I'm doing normal mode in this series, unfortunately. Um, hey, I might have to turn the volume up, actually. No, okay, it's good. I didn't know if the volume was too low or anything like that, but it just sounds quiet. So, anyways, we're going to do the no, um, the no Color Challenge 2. Obviously, you guys can already see by title. And I'm playing as Toadette for this episode. So, we're just going to get right into this here, obviously. Oh, crap. Um, that might be a red paratroop. I don't know. And that's what that's what's fun about this um this uh challenge is that uh, the reason why I wanted to do this challenge too, or I like doing this challenge, is just is just the um just the fun of it where it's like you're trying to figure out um which Koopas Oh maybe okay, maybe no, hang on. That might so the green ones usually bounce and the ba the green green paratroop is my bad. The green paratroop is usually bounce and the red ones just fly up and down. That's right. That's the only way you could kinda tell. You could you could distinctively tell between them. So, um, I don't know what the heck this, I think this is supposed to be a red platform, but, um, I mean, it's not that hard to tell, like, which colors they are. Sometimes it can be a mystery, but these, these are definitely green paratroopers right here. Good, good thing I got this. But yeah, I'll take that. But yeah, might as well just start off easy, might as well, and plus, I, I guess, if these are too easy, maybe we can go to expert mode anyway. But I just want to, I just want to at least get a warm up, you know, I'm not gonna, I don't want to start off with the, with the insanely hard level. As soon as we start off the episode, wouldn't be fun, which is how I would always do it. But I did that on purpose, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's that's what's usually what I usually like about doing the no color challenge because it's 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 just it's just fun. It's just the you know how how fun it is to like figure out what colors is which. Like, is it is it a green is it a is it a green a uh, pipe or a red pipe or whatever? Like, I don't even know what color pipes these are, so. That's why I like doing the no color challenge too. I've been I've been actually waiting to do this for you guys as well, so it's been quite some time actually. So I gotta beat that pretty easily. Just just a little warm up, you know. You look at new high score because I never even do. Um, this is like the first time I even done a uh, normal mode on here. I would always go for expert or super expert. I always do. It's crazy. Of course, I always go for expert all the time. But reach the goal after defeating Bowser, basically, because it said defeat all one all one Bowser. Oh, it's um, Super Mario Bros. 2, Toadette. Even though Toadette was never in Super Mario Bros. 2. Look at that. Look at all these mushrooms. And look at this crap. Like, like when is the safe safe place... Okay, here. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Okay, what do they expect you to do? Wait. There we go. You had to make a big jump, of course. Wow. That's awesome how the music changes, too. I just still like that. Plus, I don't really get this very often, so... Now, how are you supposed to kill Bowser? That's the question. I'm trying to figure that out right now. All, all there is is just, you know, wait, hold on. Do you have to get the chain chomp to be free? Do you have to free the chain chomp? Is that it? No, I don't know. Wait, yes. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I did, I never knew that. I never knew you had to do that. Wait. So how do you kill Bowser then? Will, will he will he kill him? Oh my god. I don't know if I did it right. Oh my god. And the music always changes every time I take damage. Oh, Damn it, Bowser. It's like Bowser hits me or the Chain Chomp hits me. No! I, I, I hit jump. I literally hit jump when I got the... Son of a bitch. Bowser's being a piece of garbage. Oh my goodness. I just get hit by either the Chain Chomp or Bowser. But it's like I knew I knew I jumped once I got that mushroom too. Because I hit the jump button. It just didn't register right away. Wait, so that's all I have to do? Just, just throw the chain chomp at him? Oh my god. This is pretty ridiculous. Like, where are the mushrooms at now? The mushrooms are just gone. Now they don't come out until you're here. Oh, now they come out here. What the hell? Why do they stop coming out all of a sudden? That's not supposed to happen. This is pretty confusing. See, even, even normal, even normal endless challenges are a pain in the ass. Look at this! Bowser, you are a piece of... Bowser's actually pissing me off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, does he does the chain chop even hurt you when you're 
thank God he does not. Just stay right there, buddy. Now I can't pick him up anymore. So maybe now he'll kill Bowser easily. Oh my God. All right, please kill Bowser. Do whatever you can to kill him. Maybe I have to stand right here. Maybe that'll be easier. But Bowser's probably gonna end up hitting me before I even get a chance. What the heck? So I have to, hold on. So do I have to throw, you know what? I'll, re I'll just start this level over and, and um, see if, I guess, try to, th maybe you have to just throw the, or, I don't know. I I'll figure this out. Okay, guys, I just realized why I was not, we were not getting, like, a lot of these mushrooms. Because of Lakitu. All these Lakitus just, yeah, they just go. They just disappear after that. Like, why can't y'all just stay? Come on now. I've never, and I've never seen Lakitus go away like that on their own. Usually. Is it because we were close to the gold? That wouldn't make any sense. Because they were here the whole time, so... I don't know. Alright. Looks like you hit Bowser, but... We're just gonna just... Oh my god. And then I just... I can't even... Look at that. Now he's like over there. Now I can't even pick it up anymore. Oh my goodness. So you can't put it right there. Right? Oh my god. I'm not even gonna be able to get to it. Man, this is gonna be a freaking pain in the ass. This... This is... This is an expert level. This really is. Why is this even normal mode? Honestly. This is, oh my god, because Bowser's always shooting fire all the time. Come on, damn it! I thought we were, I thought we were a team, Chain Chomp. That's freaking bullshit. Look, now I just lost two lives because I already lost a life because I started over and I lost another life. You gotta be kidding me! I only want to do expert level because oh my god, I'm already getting pissed off. This is ridiculous. I might as well go to easy mode. Jesus. Either these are levels are just freaking bullshit, or, or I just suck at Mario. No, that wouldn't make any sense. I don't know. Oh my god! Can you just all you all I all you all I want you to do is kill Bowser. That's it. It just takes one hit, or not one hit. It, of course, I can only hit him like once, and that's it. And then once I get hit by Bowser or something, then it's over basically. So I'm gonna try not to get hit by Bowser at all. Oh my god, look how many hits it takes to kill him. Oh my god. Almost there. Just keep hitting him. So look, why aren't you, you hitting that much earlier? See, he kept hitting, hitting him repeatedly, but he wasn't doing that right away. I don't get it. But finally that level's done. Oh my god. That was actually probably the worst normal difficulty endless challenge level I ever played. I'm gonna be honest. So I never want to do that level again. I'm sorry. That was just terrible. <laughs> But anyways, let's move on to the next level here. And, um, yeah, I know, new high score. Because obviously every time I beat a level here, I'm going to get a new high score. So, all right, good. New Super Mario U level. That's pretty much the level I've been wanting. Um, maybe next episode I'll, I'll just do it. I'm probably, I'm probably going to stick with, oh my god, Ludwig. Man, Ludwig's going to kick my ass. All right, well, um, maybe next episode I'll just do nothing but new Super Mario U levels. Just because I just want to do, do these levels. But now, oh my god, Ludwig's gonna kick my ass, though. He's gonna... Look at this. Like, look, do, 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 you call, do you call this normal mode? Get out of here with that shit. Would you call this... I'm gonna keep hitting you with fireballs because you're a piece of garbage. Look at this. There's, like, no way to dodge that shit. Please, can... Alright. Oh my god, I was ducking. When I wasn't supposed to duck. Can I jump? Yes, okay. Why didn't I jump on him before? What the hell am I doing? Oh, oh it's a red Yoshi! Wow. Of course I couldn't- I, of course I can't tell because it's all black and white. I, sometimes I keep forgetting that I'm doing the no color ch I mean, I'm, I'm aware, but I, I wasn't fully- I, I kept forgetting that, um... I kind of was forgetting. I, okay, I, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, I forgot. <laughs> Somehow I did not realize I was still doing the no color challenge because I'm so, I'm so focused on these levels. Oh my god. Jeez, there's like not much room to even fight him. It's ridiculous. Like who, like who thought this was a good idea? Jesus, this is supposed to be normal mode, not bullshit mode. I'm sorry. It's like, come on, dude. All right. Of course, I can't hit him like that, but come on, dude. So we keep shooting fireballs at him. Oh my God, it's been a while since I fought Ludwig anyway. There you go. Yeah, burn, burn in hell. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh crap. Okay. I was afraid that Thwomp was 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 looking at me funny. All right, we got all those Yoshi's in there too. All right. I, see, I don't even know what colors these are. Look at, give me that acorn, buddy. 
Oh my god, fireballs. Alright, where am I even supposed to go? Look, I don't even know which colors these are. These, these pipes. It's pretty awesome. Just Like I said, guys, it's pretty awesome how it's, um, how you just can't tell which colors these are. A lot of times. Look, I got a fireball. I'm gonna save it for later. Wait, okay, this might be a regular Yoshi, actually. Yeah, it's not a fire Yoshi this time. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. Nice. Alright, it's pretty cool. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Do you have to lose- Okay, there we go. I was like, do you have to lose your Yoshi here? Oh my god, here, Ludwig again. Not gonna- Not gonna get me, Ludwig. Not this time, that is. Alright, that's pretty cool. Now, what's this swamp gonna do? Oh, okay, just gonna go down. Did I just go down here? No? Alright. Um, oh my god, this is probably death, isn't it? Oh my god! Don't- Like, where was I where was I supposed to go right there? What kind of navigation is this? Look, I'm already down two lives now. Why- why do, why do you have to start with five lives anyway? It's bullcrap. These are so random because it's like sometimes you start off with like ten lives, five lives, maybe even twenty on a good day. I don't know. Or... I don't know. Fifteen, I think, usually. I feel like normally you start with like fifteen lives. What the hell? Did I hit the switch the wrong way? Yeah, because I need the fucking Yoshi, don't I? I, I can't. Like, come on, like... Why is it... Seriously, it feels like every level is just bullshit. Alright guys, so we're going to be doing New Smubbers U levels now. So, I'm pretty much done with uh, Endless Challenge. I just can't stand it anymore. Not even normal mode is... is, is um, Not even normal mode is, is safe. Or, you know... I don't know. What was that word? I can't remember right now. Lenient. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> it's hard to remember. I'm, I'm just like tired a little bit too. But anyways, we're gonna just, we're just gonna just do new Smart U levels now for the rest of this episode. Um, we're only at 17 minutes, so we'll probably do like two or three more levels, I guess. But anyways, ODA Heroes Platforming Airship. This is this is already looking like one of those levels I've I've been I've done so many times. I think it's from the same person too. So I don't know, but. We're just gonna just do it here, and this level is dedicated to my favorite maker, and I it shows ID, so I'm not gonna really read all that or try to even like search that or anything like that. I don't feel like it. We're just gonna just do more levels, <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so just get right into this here and just hopefully do some more new Smart Review levels, because that's that. Those are the only this, these are the only levels I just want to do for now. So, oh, okay, I couldn't tell. See, if if this was color, I would have actually been able to. I was I would have been able to um I would have been able to tell that this was a wall that I had to wall jump on because I thought you had to keep going I thought that was that was just part of the background so yeah <laughs> which is why which is why the no color challenge is awesome obviously I'm not, it's it's not like I don't want to do this challenge I I did this mainly because I just in case I didn't feel like coming up with the title because it feels like the past few episodes has been hard to like even find out what what to call these episodes now. Even though, I, even th if this wasn't the color challenge, I would have probably called this episode, um, if this, I mean, if this wasn't a no color challenge, I should say, I would have probably called this episode, like, I'm done with expert, not, I mean, endless challenges or whatever. I don't know, but, I, I figured, because I feel, I feel like, I feel like as soon as I, as soon as I, like, do some kind of challenge or something on a series, all of a sudden now, all of a sudden I have, I have, like, other reasons to, other, like, titles to come up with. Because of some some kookiness that happens in these um, episodes, as soon as I start doing a challenge, so I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go. And I'm sure this is supposed to be where a checkpoint is. I, I I've seen this before. See, yeah, it's the, it's the same thing. Like there's a door here, then you get a checkpoint. You know, I'm not gonna do a speed run on this or anything like that. I'm not gonna try to beat the top record or anything. We're just gonna just do that. Why not, right? Oh, see, and good thing I got the checkpoint. I was, I was trying to twirl, that's what happened, but I didn't expect to already get, you know, find that crane right there, I should say. So now I gotta go back in here and do all that, you know. So, it's all good, though. At least I got the checkpoint. It's all that matters. Oh, crap. Whatever. I'll try again. I, it, it's cuckoo, because I did not, I did not expect that to be there. I did not expect you to, I didn't expect to, um, jump right there. So... Yeah, it's pretty much just trial and error all of a sudden now. 
There we go. Alright. Now, hopefully we got this. Yeah, get that triple jump going. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, I, I was trying to twirl and then wall jump. I could have actually tried it again. I could have actually made my way up. Whatever. Look, now I gotta go all the way over here again and do all this crap. Stupid. So, maybe I shouldn't have got that checkpoint. But then again, I would have had to start the level from square one. Oh my god. There we go. Alright. Now I made it up here now, finally. Jeez, I was kind of scared there because every- I try- I try to twirl usually, but then when I twirl, like, at, at situations like that, I end up twirling off the wall. I, like, like, I- like, the game thinks I'm trying to twirl off the wall that you guys saw how I've died a few times. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I just don't expect it to, like- I don't expect to already be at the wall like that. That's why I do a twirl to make sure- I, just in just in case, you know, because I feel more comfortable twirling when I jump sometimes. I don't know. I just, that, that's just that's just how how it's how I how it's been for me. But I'm not really gonna like it. But um, that's basically a pretty good level right there overall. Some level that I wanted to do, I guess. Um, we're not gonna do this one because it already looks like the same exact level we just did. Just looks kind of different with the background, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably the same crap. But um. <laughs> Um, we're not going to do that one either. I don't feel like doing a speed run right now. But we can do this one. Why not? The one that says help on the thumbnail. That's all. That's all. Because that's all I could really make out with this level. Because obviously it's all Japanese. But basically we'll see what this level is all about. So, And this will be the last level of this episode pretty much. Of this no color challenge. The sequel. <laughs> Might as well just say it like that. I don't know. What the hell? Wait. What the hell is this? I, 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 knew, I knew there was. I knew that. That was death. I just didn't know how 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 is this supposed to work? Do you have to wait for him to go over? Oh, okay. I was confused. Wow, this is creative already. You gotta have the Koopa like follow you, so you can do that, and then, and then you gotta hit that. Oh, that. Hold on. Oh, I see. Hold on. No, no, no. Go over here. You gotta hit it again. No. Okay. Oh. Wow, very clever, very, very, very clever game. Nice, that is amazing. Now what's coming out here? I, I'm, I'm scared. Okay, P switch. Oh my! Yeah. You know what? We're gonna go for it. And I grabbed it anyway. That was pretty stupid, but. I did not mean to grab it. I'll make sure not to do that again. Hopefully not. Because that was tragic. <laughs> Alright, nope. Go over here, buddy. So, I'll make sure not to make that mistake again. But, I mean, I'm getting the hang of this. I mean, I, I, get, I get the idea here. You know? It's, it's very clever overall. Oh, my only fear is hopefully I don't end up killing the Goomba because of these switches. Because that's something that could happen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've, we've seen it happen before where, you know, Goomba would accidentally, an enemy would get killed by a switch like that. God dang it. I, sometimes I, I, I feel I have the urge to pick it up anyway just so I can move it out of the way right there. Oh, there's a mushroom. Wait, that's it? Where's the Goomba? Where's that, where's that going? Wait. What the hell? I don't know. Is the Goomba stuck? Hold on. Did I screw up or something? I don't. I don't even know. I think I got. I. Th I feel like I just screwed something up. Oh my god. I guess I need that Goomba still. Yeah, because then he would have to go up there. Damn. This is. This is gonna be tough. Oh crap. Do I have to hit the switch on time? Is that what I had to do? Do I have to hit the switch on time? Hold on. Wait a minute. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. I don't need that mushroom. Fuck that mushroom. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, hope, 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 hoping the Goomba comes over here on time. There we go. And good. I'll take that key. Uh, I don't need that mushroom. I don't even know how you're supposed to even get that mushroom, so I'm just going to just say screw it. So we got a big Goomba right here. We got a prompt plant, so I'm just going to have to wait. Just wait here, I guess. What's going to happen here? Maybe it's just... I think I know what's gonna happen. 
All right, cool. Good. That's pretty cool. And, oh, and then you, okay, so this time you just got just got this um giant Goomba keep moving, and Freddy is just gonna keep barking like a maniac. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can really hear him, but just ignore it if you do. Um, okay, I, um, okay, I see how you're, okay. The conveyor belts, is, oh my god, what the hell? Okay, I got it, I got it. Alright, oh my god, look at that. That's pretty cool, very, very clever, oh my goodness. I kind of now want to see how this would look in color, but, oh well. That's pretty awesome though, overall. Like, now we got Larry, we got Iggy, we just had a Boom Boom there, there's Wendy. Wow, there's all the Kooplings here. Wow. And look, and there's Bowser Jr. right there, too. And then there's Bowser. Oh, hold on, what am I doing? I, was, I just kept, like, walking all the way over here. Look, now Wendy's gone. Oh, no, not Wendy. Um, Roy. What are you doing over there, Roy? All right, Goomba. You know what to do. Kill all the Kooplings. Nice. Oh, Roy's now here. You know what? I'll take that, because I was... Being, I was just being careless. All right, we got this now. All right, Goomba, go kill him. Get the Kooplings before they kill me. Oh boy. Nice. There goes Larry. Now Iggy. Yep. And look at that. There's Wendy just shooting her rings. Gee. I still love how they're making all their death sounds. All right, Roy, you're done too. Oh damn it! Morton got me. Come on. Yeah, you have to like dodge all that crap while luring the Goomba over to kill the Kooplings. This is going to be very tedious. I don't know how I'm going to be able to pull this off. Hopefully I can pull, pull it off though. Let's just see. Alright. I mean, so far it's looking pretty good. But, I don't know. Luckily the balls don't really hurt you. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, you guys, look at that, see, Morton's trying to get me again. Alright, get him, Goomba, get Morton. And now we gotta watch out for Ludwig here, who I just had to deal with his ass earlier. Nice. It's not over yet, though, we got Bowser Jr. and Bowser. There we go. Alright, now, last but not least, the big guy. Alright, get him, Goomba. Somehow the Goomba just kills all the bosses like that. The Goomba is the real hero here. <laughs> Alright. That is... That is nice. Very creative. I'm gonna definitely like this level. Nice. Let's get all the coins. Dang it, if only this... If only this was the, um... The Endless Challenge. But no, of course not. Nice. Oh! Was the Goomba supposed to go through the door or something? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Wow. That's amazing. I felt like the felt like you had to have the Goomba follow you the entire time, like the entirety of this entire level. But yes, I'm definitely gonna like that. Very amazing level, one of the best levels of 2023. So, yep, there you guys have it. Um, we were at 28 minutes, so obviously it's a good place to stop. Um, it's been a while since I recorded an episode this long, honestly. But that's gonna pretty much be a wrap here for this episode for you guys. So before I wrap up, before I say my closing and everything, let's go and switch back to color, shall we? And there we go. The color is back now. So hopefully you guys aren't too colorblind after all this, after that episode. But there you guys have it. So the color's back here. Uh, we basically did the no color challenge overall. And yeah, you guys saw how all that worked out. Um, I mean, this episode. I mean, there were some sucky parts of this episode too, such as trying to do the endless challenge. Was it the three? Um, it was these. It was the, these first three levels here. We did on the endless challenge. Um, this one was this. I mean, this one was wasn't too bad. I beat this on my first try. This one, this was the only actual good level during that um, endless challenge. Normal mode. It, again, it, this is normal mode we were doing. It's it's like I still don't understand it because these next two levels sucked in my honest opinion. Such as this one, which I luckily beat. So, but of course I had like only five lives, so I didn't even get a chance to really get that much chances to even do these, but. Oh well, whatever. So I mean, you guys can see how this, how these levels look, um, with color now. So that's pretty, pretty sweet, <laughs> pretty interesting too. But yeah, I had to do this where you had to have the chain chomp kill Bowser, which was very awkward. So that's something I don't really want to do again. But 
I'll have to just give it that, you know. But it was overall just, I guess, kind of creative, but also just kind of bullcrap at the same time. So, whatever. And then we did this one where the navigation was kind of dreadful. It just kind of sucked. Um, this is overall just a kind of a bad level, in my honest opinion. I mean, I, I know I'm probably just saying that just because I've lost all my lives. Well, no, even if I were to beat it, it would still be a bad level. I mean, I'm, I'm, still, I'm kind of considering this level to be kind of a bad level, too, even though I beat it. So, either way... That was terrible, and it see it just it just seems like you know endless challenge doesn't give a shit whether you play normal mode, expert, even easy mode probably who knows. But I'm not trying to go to easy mode at all because that, that would just be way too easy. So, but then we did basically these two um these last two levels of the episode um that I just that I pretty much picked, and obviously I wanted to just do new Smart Bros U levels today, um for the rest of the episode I should say, you know. Did this airship level, which obviously seems like the same levels I do all the time, you know. But hopefully I'll, I'll try to avoid these levels as much as possible now, because we, we've seen levels like this all the time. Well, maybe not. I mean, they're really good levels overall. So, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, though. But there you guys have it. So, did that, and then we finally did this level where we had a goom the Goomba. Pretty much the best, one of the best levels I've played so far this year. Very creative level. You had to have the Goomba follow you, do different, you know, have him do the different tasks for you. Obviously, beat all the bosses like that. So, basically, the Goomba saved the day. The Goomba was the real hero. He beat all the Kooplings, beat all the bosses, beat all the enemies. He's 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 a bigger hero than Mario ever was. <laughs> but um, yeah. Either way, I think that's all I have to say for now. Um, it's been a while since we've got Ninja speed runs. I guess there's no more speed runs for a while. Still, even though I remember speedruns came back for a bit, but obviously um, I, I remember we I remember um, at one point they were discontinuing speedruns, ninja speedruns, pretty much. So I kind of I kind of want them to bring them back, but I guess we'll see what happens if they if they will or not. But they're probably not anyway. So either way, I think that's all I have to say for now. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my newest playthrough, Sonic Advance Two, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. I already have two episodes out for you guys, so you guys go see that, and um, we'll see how that we'll see how that playthrough goes. If you guys are watching watching the playthrough and all that, you know, so just go check it out if you guys are interested. And I'll be back with more videos for you guys soon. So, but other than that, though, I think that's all I have to say for now. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you guys for watching.